So this video is really just kind of an overview of this service. Again, in case LTE is amazing where you are and you can, maybe this is a better internet for the price or you can get unlimited and you can't with your other service. So that's why I wanted to kind of guide you guys through this, what they have. What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about NetBuddy. They are a service that I actually reviewed a long time ago and now they are back. And the one that we're gonna talk about is their AT&T service. So the way it works is for $80 a month, you get unlimited LTE, AKA 4G internet at your house. Because what you get is a router. Here's the, the router that you can get that costs 120 bucks plus $80 a month for the service. Or you can go with their premium router, which would be the $80 per month plus a $500 one-time fee. So $120 one-time fee and then a $500 fee, depending upon which router that you get. Now, both routers are exactly the same brand. They're a Cootie brand. And you can definitely tell the difference, at least just holding these routers. Uh, the less expensive one does feel a little bit cheaper, a little bit lighter, whereas the premium one does have a little bit more heft. It feels better built. And you know, with that, you potentially might get better speeds. This is the back of the less expensive one. It does come with four ports if you wanna plug things directly in there. Otherwise, you do get a 2.4 and a five gigahertz network to connect to and it's gonna be great probably for houses that don't have as many devices as needed but you could still connect a bunch of devices to this. Uh, it's just a matter of if you wanna connect them Wi-Fi or through Ethernet, this will be able to do it. And the more expensive one also has the same four ports that you can plug into and then also you're probably gonna get some better range, potentially better speeds and just better overall usage of these two. The other thing to mention about the more expensive one is it does have a dual SIM. So if you want to pit, put in another SIM card, which I don't know why you'd want to, but if you wanted to, you would be able to. So the cool thing about both of these is that it's super simple to get going. You go to the website, you order it, they send it out to you, you get unlimited internet. So you're not going to be throttled. You're not going to be slowed down and you'll be able to use this as much as you want. And you just plug it into the wall. You'll get a little power adapter. You plug that into the wall and you're ready to go. You connect to the internet. Mine came with a little paper sheet that gave me the Wi-Fi address to connect to. So it was super simple for my devices when I was ready to connect them. And if you wanna connect them via ethernet, all you do is just plug them right into the router. Now I do wanna let you know that using this service is gonna be dependent on, for instance, I'm talking about the AT&T one. If AT&T is good in your area and also if LTE is good in your area. Everything's moving to 5G at this point. But again, these are LTE routers. So you potentially might get some really, really good speeds or you might not, it really depends. So the good thing is, is if you do get this and you don't like it, if you return it within the first 30 days, you will get your money back for the purchase of the router. You will have to pay for the service that you use. So if you used it for two days or seven days or whatever how many days uh, less than 30 you will have to pay for that whole entire month but you can return your router and get your money back now who's this service good for it's unlimited internet like i said so you don't have to worry about overages or anything like that you have the nice ability to be able to stream music and movies you can download games you can surf the web you can pretty much do anything that you do now on the internet with this, online gaming might not be the very best for something like this because it is running through a cell signal, it's not directly plugged in, and it's LTE, but it should still be doable as long as you have a good connection where you live. The other people it's good for is basically anybody because all you do is plug it into the wall and connect your devices either by, via Wi-Fi or Ethernet and you're good to go, it's ready to use. Everything's linked down below if you wanna sign up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace. Just real quick, I wanted to add in that I didn't fully review this service because LTE doesn't work amazing where I'm at. Everything's been pretty much upgraded to 5G and the LTE speeds just don't compare to what I can get with 5G. And this is an LTE only router service currently. So keep that in mind. If LTE is amazing where you are, you should be okay. I mean, I can still stream 4K video for the most part. On here, that would be like a good showing of what you can do. But the speeds, again, from my area just aren't super amazing.